Hi, my name is Steve Houston, and you guessed it. This week, we're talking about the different types of IMOs. Will the real IMO please step forward? <laughs> Welcome this week. It is Wednesday. And on this channel, we discuss the facts. We talk about the IMOs. We talk about the products. We talk about compensation plans. We compare all the IMOs, which we're going to do a little bit today. And we talk about all things related to final expense. Our standard here on this channel is that we provide the facts and we provide the documentation and we allow you to decide what's best for you. So this week, I'm talking about the different types of IMOs. We're going to break them down. There's three different types of IMOs. Then you can decide which one best fits what you're looking for in your career as you begin to move forward in final expense and mortgage protection. So let's get started. So now you decide to take control of your income and you want to be a business owner because again, being an independent insurance agent on a 1099, you have to take off the hat of being an employee and put on the hat of being a business owner because even though you're operating under some structure inside of somebody else's business, you're not an employee you are a business owner and that applies to a lot of different things. It's a mindset issue when it comes to buying leads, setting up your business and all those things. Remember, you are a business owner, you are operating a business and you are independent. You're not an employee and you don't work for these IMOs. So now you need to find the right insurance marketing organization or IMO, which is the rest one for you. I don't know. Everybody's looking for different things out of their IMO and maybe even needs different things. Are all IMOs the same? No. Every IMO is different. Now, there are three different types or general types of IMOs, and that's kind of what I want to discuss with you. That's what this video is about today, right? So the first one is, let's go write this one down for you, is what I would call the IMO of little help. The little help IMO. We're going to make this one number one, right? On our category of three. Now, there are organizations or IMOs that offer just mortgage session or just final expense, right? Or both. And in my opinion, you want to be with an IMO that offers both. The more things that they offer, the more opportunity you have to make a sale or to plug in your prospects needs and desires with the right product right if you're just limited to final expense final expense for example has a very low apv annual premium volume right and in final expense it's averaged somewhere around six hundred dollars which is about half what mortgage protection is right it also serves a lower income market in general I'm not trying to stereotype the market but in general that's true so you got to run a lot more appointments knocking a lot of doors and making more, a lot more calls and presentations to make the same amount of money. So having final expense as an option is perfect. You want that, but you want it as well as other products. So working the mortgage protection final expense market with an IMO that has 15, 20, 25 different carriers, you want multiple different products from multiple different carriers so that you can take a prospect and plug them into the right product given their age, health, and need and that allows you to protect about 95 percent of the people that you visit with which as a salesperson that's important and these imos typically will give you a low starting contract and allow you to work up to a high contract now some of them most of them are very high recruiting activity type imos that uh, uh, will require some recruiting in order to, for you to get advanced. I do not recommend being with any IMO that requires you to recruit in order to get paid what you're worth. I'm sure you've seen that on one of my videos before, right? You should be able to go all the way up to 105, 110, 120% contracts based on your own personal production, not team production, right? Look, some of these IMOs are better than others, and that's kind of what I want to discuss, but ultimately, you're going to have to decide what it is that you're looking for. Some are going to offer a lead program, right? And maybe uh, even training calls, webinars, uh, conferences, uh, both local, regional, and national conferences. Uh, 
but you know, some of them will provide little or no mentoring. And honestly, I don't think the IMOs are in the mentoring business. Uh, most of these large IMOs are dealing with thousands of agents. And while they can provide a tremendous amount of training, and some, a few of them do, some provide nothing, some don't even allow you to call as one of their agents. You can't even call the home office. And that I would run away from, right? They should provide some services. Let's face it, they're making money off you, and they should, they should also support you. That's my uh, basic belief and my core belief. They, they're not in the business of mentoring. They're trying to serve a large market or a large group of people right? All at different levels of education in the business. Really where that one-on-one -on -one training and mentoring and coaching is going to come from is from your agency coach or mentor that's actually doing it, right? When I say that, everybody says the light goes on, goes, okay, well, you know, I, I've got that guy that reads me what I should do out of a book somewhere because he's never done it. He's a recruiter, right? So that goes back to my original point when you're looking for someone to join. It's not just the IMO. That's a very, very important part because that will in some respects limit your uh, opportunity, but this, your success is gonna be determined by someone that's coaching you and mentoring you in the day-to-day -day activities that it takes to succeed in this business, right? Look, either the managers are going to answer the phone and always be available because they're not in the field and haven't been in years, so they won't know how to help you in today's market, or, they are still in the field, but have no time or desire to help you. So you've got to find the balance, right? Uh, I know that I, in the field a couple days a week, we make sure that someone's always available because we serve our agents before, during, and after the sale, getting their applications from submission to commission, and we're involved in the product selection, all that stuff. And that's kind of what you're looking for, right? So on these little help agencies, either way, this type of setup really only works uh, for agents that uh, are already producing at high levels. They don't need any training. They've mastered the mortgage protection in the final expense market. So they're not looking for any type of help whatsoever, right? It's definitely not for somebody that's new to the business uh, or uh, is looking for uh, to increase their, uh, their income that needs still to be trained by somebody that's actually doing the do, right? These type of agents usually require, like I said, no support. Uh, they want to work by themselves. Uh, they don't mind doing all the extra administrative work, right? They're willing to generate their own leads because many of these little help type IMOs don't have a lead program. Uh, and that comes with this type of an IMO or this type of organization. And you need to expect that. A lot of times they'll dangle the high contract rates out there because they don't own their own lead program. They're buying leads from a third party resource, which if you're buying leads from a third party resource, they're in the lead selling business. So that IMO can't control how many times that lead has been sold, redated, repurposed, re whatever. I mean, it's sold you know, hundreds of times potentially, right? Uh, because they don't own it, they can't control it, right? And they can't tell you what they can provide you. Uh, in terms of leads, right? So uh, that's a given, right? So the high contract, no leads, usually equals no sales unless you're going to generate your own or you have a very large warm market. Just understand that's the little help type IMO out there and be aware they usually dangle the carrot with a high contract rate. But again, high contract, no leads usually equals uh, no income and a failed agent, right? The next one is way too much help. I love this one, right? Uh, there's actually, uh, I guess this is true, way too much help. Again, I'm not making any determination of which one you need, but there's a way to, they, these are independent uh, IMOs, organizations that seem to be designed really uh, after, you know, kind of like a captive agency format. The only saving grace is, is that they do uh, offer multiple carriers. And that's one of my criteria for, for a good IMO, right? Many of these type IMOs still require uh, weekly meetings and requires a key word there. Because um, uh, I don't, again, you're a 1099 independent contractor. Do I suggest you attend meetings? Yes. Do I suggest you attend rah-rah meetings every week? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, training meetings, I mean, you should participate in those things, right? But if they're required, now all of a sudden it's becoming a job and not a business, right? So um, look, m most of them are team building type, high recruiting, some will, some won't, so what type of uh, IMOs. Here again, you're running into the same problem here as you did almost with the little help IMO, whereas they start their agents at very low commissions, sometimes as low as 30%, up to 60%, and really it's all geared around 
you know, they're building their own. Again, you have to decide whether this is bad or good for you, but that's their business model. That's how they're building their IMO by getting you to go out there even before license sometimes, certainly before you even produce a single application or policy yourself. They got you running the zip recruiter ads. They got you uh, doing the uh, Craigslist and they got you recruiting right away because that's how they build their IMO. It comes down to if they can get you out there and you can hire 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 people and you don't make it, they still keep the 15, 20, 30, 40 people, right? So it just makes sense in their business model. You had to decide whether or not that's good for you or not. And many times they often offer super expensive in the long run, free leads. I get this a lot on the phone call. Well, they offered me free leads. Of course they did. You get what you pay for in this country, typically, right? And free means they're very, very old. They've been sold a thousand times and you're gonna beat yourself to death to try to book appointments. Top producers know that free leads aren't the way to success, right? You're shortcutting your success. You're setting yourself up for failure right away with a free lead program because the amount of time it's going to take, if you survive the swearing, the hanging up, the cursing, and all the you know all this that's involved in a lead that's you know been called a thousand times, if you survive that and are able to book one appointment, you spend countless days and hours on the phone for that free lead. You're better off investing in fresh leads that have a much higher conversion ratio from a lead to an appointment to a sale than free. It's my opinion. There's an invest. Remember, you're in business for yourself, right? So there's going to be advertising costs and advertising, you heard me talk about this before, advertising costs in our business is leads, right? You may very well be with an IMO that gives you the free leads. That's also going to pressure you to start building a team right away. Even if the free leads are coming from your so-called agent, agent mentor or coach, they're still free. And the idea is he's going to give you some free leads and make you happy while you go out there and get pressure to be on recruiting calls to, uh, to build his agency sold to you as you're building your agency. But they're your pressure to do so because their comp plan is set up that way, right? If you don't recruit, you're not ever going to get paid what you're worth based on the value that you bring to the IMO, which is your production. That's the way it you start be. seeing circles drawn like this, this being you and this being, you know, seven more agents or whatever. And those seven agents had to do $50,000 in, in uh, issue paid business. And then you become an agency manager or agency owner. This is an income cap because if you don't, if you don't hire these people, you're capped at 80%. You can never go to hundred percent or above, right? Unless you do this and, and let these people are hitting certain production requirements. That's what I call an income cap. Because if you're out there selling 20 applications a month, that's about 20,000 APV, right? With most IMOs, or at least the one we're with, you be at the 100% contract, you're giving up 20%, which on the average application in mortgage protection, being a thousand bucks, you're giving up $200 per sale. Because your income is capped because not, either you didn't hire these people or the people you hired won't get off the couch. And no matter how good a producer you are, you're not going to get paid at the contract level that you should be paid at. Right? That's the point. Okay? So, understand that, right? All these groups churn and burn or the Kool-Aid drinking IMOs. They sell you in this whole deal. And again... It's your decision whether you think it's bad or good. There's nothing wrong with agency building and nothing wrong with building a passive leveraged income. However, you and I both know that we can't motivate to people to do what they're not willing to do. So in the meantime, if you're a top producer, you're not getting paid as a top producer because you can't get people off the couch. And that's why that resentment builds up and people get mistreated in this industry, right? They may give out leads at little or no cost, but these leads have been worked and reworked by dozens of agents before you. That's the point I want to make. While there's little cost to getting started in these types of IMOs, the chance of succeeding is very slim and will require a lot of hard work, right? If you are working at a Home Depot or you're working at a Taco Bell or you have a part-time job or a full-time job and this is your spare time or part-time occupation, this sort of group is better than nothing. Uh, maybe you can look at it as a uh, learning experience, uh, get the training you can, and, uh, and then move on and get out of it before uh, you get completely burned out. Remember, though, that many of them have contracts where you can't get out 
unless you're out of business for six months. Be aware of that, right? Type number three is just the right amount. My handwriting is terrible today. But you get it, just the right amount, okay? Now, there are only a few IMOs, that, in my opinion, that offer the right balance for the majority of entrepreneurial agents. They will provide everything an agent needs to be successful in this business, right? And have different departments to help you all along the way to get in, to get your training and get started, right? But plus, they will have ongoing training that you can plug into, all free. Now, some of them have national training conferences as we do, and they cost money for those. That's to be expected. But local, regional webinars, training calls, all that shouldn't require membership, shouldn't incur a cost. There should be no training. I mean, I've heard people that are charging 25 or so dollars to go and sit in an opportunity meeting to find out if they want to join the company or not. I mean, some of the things that people do, to me, is crazy. I mean, I wouldn't pay a, a company money to view their opportunity. If they want me, they can tell me the opportunity for free. That's my point, right? Before we move on, let me be clear. You know, along with this, an agent should be with an agency that you have also chosen that will be your personal mentor. Uh, and again, when I, as soon as I throw that word mentor out, people's network marketing uh, antenna goes up. And, of course, they use mentor a lot over there. I prefer coach. But these two things should be done by somebody that's actually doing the do and not telling you what to do, right? You can't tell somebody to do something that you're not willing to do, right? So this is an interview process. You should do your own research, right? But look, this will be someone that's been in the business for uh, years, has a successful uh, track record, uh, selling mortgage section or final expense uh, personally, right? Uh, and may still be doing it and should still be doing it at a, on a certain level, right? These mentors and coaches will have earned high commissions uh, year in, year out in personal production, right? And be able to pass on their secrets and teach you a system time-tested and proven to be successful. That's why you want to be part of a group like this because that mentorship and coaching day to day, right? That the IMO can't provide you. What phone script do I use? How do I do the phone script? Role playing, coaching, you know, uh, every couple of days uh, on you know, learn knowledge, activity knowledge on that script, get you very, very good at converting a lead into an appointment and then helping you with product selection, helping you with the rate, run the rates, helping you uh, write the application. You can call them in the home if need be to help you get the application while you're there. All this is very hands-on forever, but at least uh, in the first few months of you joining the business. That, to me, is the most undervalued part of most people's research. The IMO is important, but so is that, that finding somebody that knows what they're doing, been doing it for many years, and is willing to help you on every single case while you're getting started and get that application from submission to commission so you get paid. And as you go through, that to me is a, uh, a difference maker, right? This is the most undervalued uh, aspect of your success, right? Uh, I believe the key to your success that many people don't even consider. I mean, most people get get called, their, their resume's found in ZipRecruiter from this, from this agent that's been uh, sold a dream of, uh, you know, some will, some won't, so what, the next guy I recruit, gonna make me a millionaire. They don't they don't interview the interviewer, right? And uh, and they sign up with an IMO, they find out later that this guy doesn't, doesn't know anything, they're not available in the house to help them, they never put their name on an application, all these things, and now they can't get out of it. They're, they're locked into a contract, right? So just be aware of that, right? You should expect that mentor and coach to personally invest in each and every one of their agents and have a system in place and this infrastructure in place to help not only you, but every other agent, right? They'll be available by phone, by text, uh, by email most of the time. When you're in the house, they're going to be able to help you. No need to wait until the weekly conference call so you can ask questions to get the help that you desperately need right away to cash flow your business and succeed financially. First thing that's gonna put you out of this business is not watching your cash flow. Your mentor also should provide uh, you with training materials uh, and work with you uh, to learn the mortgage section and final expense business from the ground up. They should be able to teach you how to correctly run your business, because again, it's a business, structure your week, uh, work your leads, 
present in the home, some kind of a presentation that you can learn and do every time. Since you're working, as I said, on phone script training, uh, role playing opportunities, they will teach you what you need to know day to day to be successful. A mentor will teach you how to replicate their system so that you can become as successful as possible as quickly as possible. So to finish the just the right amount IMO, you also need to make sure and verify what IMO that that coach or mentor is with. No amount of help from him is gonna help you get past this, right? So that is another consideration. It's twofold, right? They also provide you with direct mail leads, not free, you know, all forms of leads, final expense and mortgage station at a set price. And you can buy them whenever you want to buy them and it's not determined by your agency owner, mentor, or coach, or whether or not you get leads or not. You can buy them from the IMO regardless of what level you're at in the company or whether or not that coach or mentor has fallen out of love with you, right? You will not have to take any risk with your marketing efforts if that's the case. Remember, the great thing about this business is that IMO is paying for the direct mail program. They send out thousands. They get back a few. You and I only pay for the few that come back. They have to absorb the cost of the thousands they mailed out that didn't come back. They get thrown in the trash can. That's the great thing about the lead program is you and I only pay for what we get. And that's fantastic because there's a tremendous amount of cost that goes into buying the data, putting it on a letter together, putting a stamp on the letter, mailing it out to get one to 2% return. They had to absorb those costs. That's why the leads cost so much money is it's determined by that one to 2% return. The IMO should also provide you with back office support, right? This will include departments that handle the contracting for you. That's going to handle your leads for you, areas that you can work, a chat system possibly if you have any quick questions. There's also support there. How to submit an application. That back office will help you with submitting an application tracking that production, communicating with the carriers. This technology is very, very important because it helps you get the application from submission to commission without having to call the carriers, all done through that back office, right? So that's an important thing to be looking for, right? They also provide you with ongoing training. I know our IMO offers three training calls a week, uh, two webinars, two national training conferences, regional training, single day events going on all across the country, all for free with the exception of the two national training conferences. That's what you're looking for. You're looking to get the most you can with an IMO that will help you succeed in this business. While not mandatory, right, these meetings and trainings, they always include helpful information that will help you make more money. And they also have access to training calls, as I said, uh, videos, uh, replays and recordings from past producers sharing their knowledge in the mortgage section and final expense arena so you can pick up nuggets that will increase your I know in our agency we provide all of our agents with a community app that all of our, we have about 175 agents in there. They're in there, they're sharing experiences, success tips, they're helping each other. They truly believe in a culture where all ships rise with the tide. It's a phenomenal uh, addition to your success, right? It can be very lonely out there as an independent agent. So be able to share with other agents that are going out in the field doing the do just like you do every single day is massive and again, celebrating the wins is a big part of what we do in our agency. But being part of a group is what I think we all need, right? So to wrap this up, if you're looking for some bullet points from this video uh, to ask maybe or to check the boxes when you're searching for the right IMO uh, or the right agency or coach or mentor, here they are. One, own their own direct mail house for lead gen. Very, very important. Not just buying from a third party uh, uh, lead seller, right? Uh, two, technology, free, no charge. Three, no duplicated, redated, recycled, repurposed leads. That requires that technology I just spoke about because the idea is that when the lead is sold a product, when the agent has to go back into that proprietary technology that most IMOs don't, the lead is attached to the application and removed from the system. So you're not buying a lead that already has bought from another agent inside your own IMO, right? No recruiting required, right? They, no recruiting required in order to get paid what you're worth or to be promoted up the contract levels, right? No cap on your income, right? Ability to get promoted to top contracts 
no recruiting or production requirements required, and those levels once attained, right, 180%, 100%, whatever they are, those levels are permanent, no monthly qualification, no memberships to pay for in order to be promoted, right? Home office staff and support, free, and you're able to call them, not refer back to your upline. Lastly, look for a good coach or mentor who's actually dressing up, putting the uniform on, has years of experience, he can teach you and will help you day to day, case by case, that is a game changer and a difference maker in your success as a business owner, right? And remember, as I always say to close these videos, the surest way not to fail is to be determined to succeed. Do me a favor. I hope you enjoyed this video on the different types of IMOs. We're going to do another video coming up here very shortly on how to find and select a mentor. But in the meantime, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Smash the bell down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribers. Make a comment. I love hearing from all of you. And uh, I appreciate you being here. So as I end every video with, I'm available to talk, text, email, pick up the phone, give me a call. My contact information is below if I can do anything to help you. If I can help you decide on IMOs or if you haven't decided on IMOs and you're looking for a place to go, we are expanding nationwide. Maybe we're a fit together. Maybe we're not. But let's have a conversation. Bye-bye now.